Okay guys, it's uh, Ferdinand uh, Gandhi once again and I'm in the second round of uh, testing the uh, dr 100 Watt PA the uh, digital uh, class D power amplifier of our project uh, dr 100 Watt concept uh, So last week uh, I didn't have all the luxury time to finish the test uh, I just uh, finished uh, several based on this uh, test uh, documents that uh, I'm filling up uh, because uh, I'm still uh, involved in another project uh, this project is called the uh, uh, fat loose uh, which I need to do uh, some exercise outside uh, and also last Saturday I had to uh, bring my family out uh. so uh, this time uh, I try to finish it uh, and um, about the testing for class D basically I would say that uh, me or uh, we are newbie and um, we just uh, perform uh, the tests uh, that we know uh, based on uh, some research uh, basically we are uh, testing the class D amplifier with our uh, class AB know-how well uh, that's okay uh, that's a part of the learning uh, we do some tests and we learn from it that is why we do the DIY learning by actually doing the test and learn from it. The next test is the audio input uh, sensitivity. So we will now going to measure the uh, maximum input uh, of the uh, class D uh, amplifier input uh, to uh, produce the maximum voltage swing. I'm guessing again the 10% uh, uh, distortion so I'm going to increase the amplitude now and uh, here we go let's I assume that uh, this is the 10% uh, and uh, I turn off the uh, AWG uh, input okay and then I need to move the uh, oscilloscope probe to the input uh, the oscilloscope probe is now uh, connected at the uh, audio input uh, what I'm going to do now is to um, um, turn on the AWG and uh, read the input uh, signal there you are so uh, the reading is uh, 697 uh, millivolt so that is the input sensitivity for the uh, left channel let me change that to the right channel it's now on the right channel turn again the AWG and um, the input sensitivity is um, 600 uh, let's say 691 I'm not sure why the, the waveform signal is um, uh, duplicating like that but uh, let me go back to uh, the output and see alright let me uh, turn again the AWG and uh, here it is it's okay I'm not so sure why the, the signal is uh, keep duplicating uh, when I move the oscilloscope uh, at the input alright so uh, um, one thing that uh, I have to uh, let you know is that um, uh, I'm still uh, using the transformer and the uh, SPS um, filter board because uh, the SMPS power supply I have returned it already I missed to um, measure the uh, input sensitivity when I have the uh, SMPS as the power supply is about the, uh, the standby power consumption of uh, our uh, DR100 Watt PA module so I initially uh, set up um, normally uh, open switch here so I can able to toggle it between the mute uh, not the mute uh, the standby 
uh, on and off. Uh, so uh, in this schematic diagram, the this part here is the control for the standby, the mute and the uh, protection module or the speaker protection. So okay. I'm and only let me put that into zero input uh, sine wave, and we got uh, seven point sixty one watt. Now what I'm going to do is uh, to uh, turn on the standby mode by pressing the switch and uh, I'm going to monitor the AC power. So I'm going to switch now. There you go. And it reduced to 3.87. Let's say 3.87. The 3.87 watt is uh, when the uh, class D amplifier chipset uh, is in the sleep mode. However, the uh, speaker protector is still on, so uh, I need to turn off the speaker protector. That is the speaker protector control from the uh, microcontroller, so I hang it. That means to say that uh, I'm sending uh, logic uh, zero to the uh, speaker protector chipset. So it means to say now that the speaker protector is off, the um, class D amplifier chipset is sleeping, and uh, let's see the resulting uh, uh, power, which is now 3.06. So effectively, this is the um, system uh, sleep mode power consumption. To get the effective um, power consumption of the class D chipset, we need to subtract the um, power that is being consumed by the uh, toroidal transformer and the uh, SPS uh, filter board by uh, removing it uh, from the... Uh, let me do that uh, without... Just uh, the uh, toroidal transformer and the split power supply board alone and uh, let's see what is the uh, power that is being consumed from the AC supply. Oh, there you are. You get um, 2.39 Watt when there is no any load. The system active mode with no input signal is uh, 7.61 Watts. Uh, I need to subtract the uh, transformer and SPS board uh, power consumption which is uh, 2.39 Watts. Uh, and the effective um, active mode with no input signal consumed by the board is a 5.22 watts. Similarly, if we apply the same uh, method with the sleep mode, we read the uh, 3.06 watt uh, and the transformer SPS um, power consumption is a uh, 2.39, then we get uh, 0.67 watt. So uh, we can say now that uh, the class D amplifier is uh, consuming uh, 670 milliwatt while in the sleep mode. The next test is the uh, input and output uh, waveform. Uh, characteristic by comparing the input signal versus the output signal. So what uh, we get from here? Well, we know already that uh, there is a 332 kilohertz uh, riding on the signal, on the output signal, and um, that is uh, noticeable and I say I'm going to take note of that when uh, we have only one type of uh, filtering but uh, if maybe we can have uh, more filter here to uh, filter the uh, pulse width modulation then uh, we may able to get a cleaner output of the speaker let's change the frequency this is at uh, 1 kilohertz uh, let's see the frequency is at 1 kilohertz uh, and um, Let's just uh, change the frequency to uh, 10 kilohertz. And there you are. 
Well, this is just a comparison of the uh, input signal and the output signal at uh, 10 kilohertz, uh, and uh, you can see that um, the uh, output signal taken at the speaker cannot uh, follow the input signal. 20 kilohertz. Uh, come on, that is the um, resulting uh, output uh, signal at the speaker at uh, 20 kilohertz. Uh, Further going down to 100 hertz, this is 500, 100 hertz, this is 500. Looks uh, it's good performance at uh, lower frequencies. And um, 300, this is 100 hertz. And uh, further going down to 6 and we get back to one hearts. The next test that I'm going to perform is the uh, frequency response test. Uh, so what I'm going to do in here is that I'm going to sweep the frequency from uh, 0 hertz to uh, 100 kilohertz uh, by um, adjusting the uh, frequency so uh, this is at that uh, one kilohertz uh, i just have to uh, observe the uh, output voltage of the speaker and um, let's see um, this is the input signal and this is the uh, speaker output at the uh, left channel so i'll just monitor the left channel this time um, and we're going to see uh, the um, this one VR2 when uh, it goes down to uh, let's just say uh, um, 3.8 uh, volt uh, RMS. So let me go up. I'll sweep the frequency uh, in the upper end of the OG spectrum. So. Uh, now is at the uh, 2 kilohertz and we got an output of 4.06 uh, that is a 4.071 uh, volt rms uh, continue continue now at 5 uh, let's say this is at 10 kilohertz uh, at 10 kilohertz we get uh, the same 4.12 50, 51 kilohertz uh, we get um, 1.869 so the output uh, voltage at the speaker at this frequency is heavily attenuated. Let's uh, go up uh, 70 and uh, at uh, 100 uh, kilohertz. Uh, basically, is that the output is uh, very minimum. Let's go down. Okay. And uh, we are reading the. Uh, Output voltage at uh, the speaker terminal is uh, 4.086. That's okay, pretty good. Lower down, let's see uh, what's going on uh, when we set it to 1 hertz. So basically, uh, the output, which is the uh, bottom waveform, is uh, very minimum at 1 hertz. Uh, so that's already outside of the uh, audio frequency spectrum so uh, let's go back to 20 hertz there you are and uh, basically uh, with the given um, data uh, I can initially plot the uh, frequency response let me do here that. is the result of a uh, measurement uh, by uh, taking the um, voltage output of the speaker against the uh, frequency and uh, this graph here is not uh, proper or it is not correct uh, the uh, frequency should be plot in a body plot uh, but uh, what I did here is that uh, it is very linear just to uh, see how is the frequency uh, of the class D amplifier that we have the dr 100 watt PA.
best that I can do is to know the timing of the speaker protector. So when the uh, uh, AC signal is um, applied to the transformer, the uh, class D amplifier will start uh, or wake up, uh, but uh, it will not connect uh, immediately to the speaker because the speaker protector is uh, preventing it. The speaker protector basically is um, protecting the speaker from uh, dangerous offset voltage and aside from that, uh, it will prevent uh, the possible uh, noises that can be heard in the speaker during the power up and um, power off states. So let's count uh, how many seconds uh, before the speaker protector will connect the uh, speaker to the class D amplifier. We need to monitor the output uh, by counting uh, in seconds. Uh, let's start. Uh, that's 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, about 1006, uh, and uh, the speaker protector will connect the uh, load or the speaker to the class D amplifier. the uh, short uh, bring up test uh, engineering specification there are other tests that I cannot perform like for example is the uh, the view meter uh, the view meter response I cannot perform that because uh, the view meter uh, circuit is not populated into the PCB I can uh, perform uh, later about the uh, listening mood for music as the input bring up test will not also perform uh, this time which uh, will understand uh, the uh, characteristic uh, of the chipset uh, like for example the unbalanced uh, power supply the uh, over voltage uh, current protection uh, temperature protection and uh, even uh, uh, shorting the uh, speaker uh, at the speaker terminals uh. So this uh, test uh, will understand uh, more the chipset in details and um, I'm not able to perform them right now. So that will be charged for next time test. Hi guys, uh, actually the dr 100 y is singing for me while I'm uh, editing the video. Let's take a look. The uh, dr 100 Watt PA is now singing for me while uh, I'm uh, editing the video. Here you go. Label is uh, for my son, so he will not go into that yet. That's my speaker, and the other one is there. The video is uh, rendering now. And uh, we got up there is my project, and it's not completed without the uh, inspiration. <laughs>